and Jay's crew and welcome to the vlog. Or in the other case, good afternoon Jay's crew, depending on where you live. So, I was at the hospital before and I had to come back because my mom needed her, um, her halls because she coughs a lot and without the halls she can't, she can't, um, what's the word, she just can't survive. It's, it's very difficult for her to not cough. So, she needed her hauls and I was trying to find her a water bottle, but I couldn't find her a water bottle that I could fill up with water and cranberry juice so I could take it to the hospital with her. But, there's going to be a food vlog, as in, I'm going to be showing you what I order when I order food or if I make food, so that's going to be coming too. So don't worry about that. I have a question for you guys. Would you like it if I did... Um, creating meals for you as in making a cooking with Jay channel so like uh, on my vlogs I do what am I cooking today okay to show you guys what I cook if you guys would like that let me know in the comments below because then I know what you would like to see because I'm trying to find my niche in this world and I believe that cooking would be good because I can make meals that are like healthy and that are in 15 minutes or less or might take a little bit longer depending on what needs to be done or just meals that you can stick in the oven, let it go and you just wait for the timer and that's it. Plain and simple. So let me know what you think. Also, if you think it's a good idea, also hit the thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button. Okay, so I'm on my way back to the hospital to go to the cafeteria with my mom, my aunt, uh, another aunt, and my cousin Daria. And we are going, I guess, to get food or something. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what we're doing. And also, um, I will find out what exactly they talked about in the with the doctor. And so... So that's what's going on. Okay, so I lived in Utah for four years and at the hospitals you don't have to pay for parking. It's valet parking sometimes or you can find your own spot. Here in Montreal or in Quebec to be exact or even in Canada. I don't know how it is in um, BC or Ontario or somewhere else but in Quebec you have to pay for parking. Now how dumb is that? Like literally pay for parking to visit people in the hospital that are sick or go for like some surgery or something. You got to pay. You're already paying buttloads already. Why pay more? It's, it's ridiculous. If you agree with this, hit the thumbs up button or put a comment below to say, yeah, I agree with it that it, that it should be free parking instead of paying because it is literally like half an hour parking that's free. But most people don't spend half an hour at the hospital. They spend like maybe an hour unless they're going for like a blood test then they pay for then they go for the half an hour because you're more or less going to get in and out if you go at the right time. If you go at the wrong time, you're going to be paying a buttload of money. Last time I was here, we paid 13 bucks and we were here for like, what was it? An hour maybe? An hour and a half? Maybe less than that. I think it was like an hour. And it just seemed like forever. And I'm like, seriously, why? Why do that? It just seems like, why pay for parking when it should be free altogether? That's what I believe. It should be free. Hospital I'm at is the Lakeshore General. It's a bit creepy. It's an older hospital. It's been there for a while. I was born there. My sister was born there. It's been there forever. It creeps me out. To be honest, any hospital really creeps me out. Why? I just don't like them. I just don't like them. They just creep me out. Like there's no tomorrow. It's like, why should I be creeped out by, from a hospital when it's a normal thing? But in Utah, the hospitals are like inviting, like come get better. Here it's like, come here and die. It, it's not inviting at all. Not one bit. So I finished at the hospital. We, I went to the cafeteria and I ordered, uh, well, I didn't order it, but my mom ordered me a sandwich. My mom got soup and I'll show you the two pictures of that because with my aunt, she doesn't really agree with this vlogging, best way to put it, but because she looks at it like, well, can you make money out of it? It takes time. Everything takes time. Anywhere to make it big, it takes time. It's not like today you're nobody and tomorrow you're famous. I mean, it does happen. It really does happen, but for me, it's hard work and a lot of effort and patience to be able to do this. So I will show you the sandwich I had and the soup my mom had because I took pictures of them. 
If anybody knows what it's like to have a hard day, hard life, hard anything, please share it. I would like to hear about it. I really would like to hear about your hard time. And I don't mean a hard time as in, well, your dad or your parents are buying you a luxury car and you're trying to figure out if you want leather seats or if you want uh, regular soft cushiony seats. I don't mean like that because that is not a tough decision. Leather, regular seats, who cares? You're getting a luxury car. What I mean by hard is having to wait so hard and so long that you put your faith, that you put your, that you try your best to rely on, on, you know, people up there, God and everything, that everything will work out because we're all different faiths, so we might have a different thing that we rely on. But, you know, um, we, we try our best. But if you've ever had it so hard that you have to rely on God, Heavenly Father, whoever you, you want to say, a spiritual being, I would like to hear about it because that's what we've been doing and it's not been easy. It's been the hardest time. I've had to exercise what we call our hard? faith. Yes, it is. See, she was wondering if this was our car and this is it. I parked it down all the way here because I had nowhere else to park it. But we've had to put our faith in, in, in Heavenly Father as we do that things will work for us and we we are at the bitter end we are at the bitter end like I mean at the bitter end that we just don't know what's gonna happen now because tomorrow we sign the condo away and we have no clue what will happen and we're in dire strait leaking, there's a leaking faucet in the main bathroom at 312 yes, yeah, that. I know but who knows who knows how long that's been going on and who knows yeah. if there isn't a problem behind that. Very true. Very true. We I don't know. You. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to deal with that. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with, you know, uh, touch-ups, painting, and maybe changing countertops and, and some other things. But and change. So here's a bit of a food vlog. I got coleslaw. French fries, chicken, and gravy in the kitchen over there. Right over down there. That's where I got the gravy that I'm going to be using to dip my fries in, dip my chicken. Well, I'm not going to dip coleslaw in there because that's just gross. <laughs> but that, that's what we are having for dinner tonight. Hey, I got to ask you guys a question before I end the vlog. Would you like me to do more cooking um, episodes? Like, in my daily vlogs, I show you what I'm cooking. So, like... Uh, cooking with Jay or like what's on the grill segment okay let me know what you think in the comments below because I would like to know what you guys think okay so I'm gonna end my vlog there with saying um, sh um, subscribe to my channel because then you'll get the notification when I upload a new video to your devices also share my video because you might make someone happy also um, hit the thumbs up button and also comment below if you want to ask me virtually anything. If you just want to say good job, whatever. Also, join my social media because I put stuff there too. So don't forget to do that. And also, remember, you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. And also, the most important thing is be happy. And thanks for watching.